Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a Yankee Candle Outlet Haul for you guys, as well as a Yankee Candle Retail Haul for you. So yesterday I got an email in my inbox. It was actually sent out the day before on Thursday, but I happened to not see it until Friday, that the Yankee Candle Employee Appreciation Sale was going on. This sale happens twice a year. It's by invite only. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick view of the email I received so we can go over pricing before I get started. So this is the email I received. It says hurry in now through Sunday. So it's still active. So if you know an employee at the outlet, definitely try to get in there because the prices are amazing. So all large jars in the outlet right now are 5 for 55 but if you have this email, it's 5 for 40 which takes them down to just $8 each. So like it says, all large classic jars, candle tumblers, candles, and perfect pillar candles. Then it's 50% off all car and home fragrance merchandise. So that's your car fragrance, that's your room sprays, that's your, I think, scent spheres or whatever. And then 30% off all outlet merchandise. So that's like the three wick candles that they have there. The small tumbler candles, the medium tumbler candles, the medium candles that aren't in the 5 for 40 and so forth. So really, really great pricing right now. As you guys can tell, I went ham. I got three bags of stuff to show you guys. So this is definitely going to be a longer video. I did have some store credit to use up so I'll flash you guys my receipt real quick so you guys can see how long it is. So some of that is exchanges and some of it is product. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot the first bag forward. Like I said this is going to be a longer video. So I'm going to start with this item here. I'm going to actually move this to the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the first item I have here, this is one of the Yankee Candle Reed Diffusers. And this was, I believe, 50% off. So Yankee Candle Pineapple Cilantro. I've always wanted one of these for in my bathroom. So I picked that up from my bathroom. I did pick up a new Illumilid. I was kind of disappointed in the Illumilid selection. They didn't have the greatest selection, but believe it or not, this one is actually still in retail for $10. I was able to get it for five bucks. So super cute, new Illumilid, because you should always be burning your candles with an Illumilid because that helps retain the heat in so that your candle burns evenly. So I've been debating on doing a video. I did get a new car. And so I wanted to get some new car products for my car. So I went ahead and I picked up one of the Yankee Candle Car Jars. This is in Blush Bouquet. This is one of their new scents for spring and I absolutely love this one. So that was half off as well. I picked up one of the Yankee Candle Car Charm refills. Because I do have one of the car charms that I hang from my mirror. Once again, this one is in blush bouquet because I really do enjoy this scent. And it was half off. I picked up another car jar here. Believe me, we will be getting into the candle soon. I didn't pick up too many accessories. So this car jar is in pink sands. This is a tried and true, wonderful spring and summer Yankee candle scent. I picked up a total of four room sprays, and after this, everything is candles and melts. So I picked up this room spray in Color Me Happy. It was half off. That's a returning scent from, I believe, last year. I also picked up White Strawberry Bellini, and I actually like to use these in the car. So, like, I'll store these in my middle console. I'll put like one, maybe two in, or in my glove box. This one is in Blush Bouquet. And I just spray these in my car because I find the fragrance lasts really well in the car. As well as Pink Sands. So those are the room sprays I picked up. Now we can get into the wax products. 
So I did pick up three of the Centerpiece Easy Milk Cups. I absolutely love the Centerpiece warmers, especially the ones that have the timer. I set mine for nine hours. I don't have to worry about it. It shuts itself off. I was hoping they would have some cute new warmers, but I didn't see anything too impressive. But I was able to get these an extra 30% off. They are all three the same scent. So this one is in, once again, Blush Bouquet. Like I said, Blush Bouquet is one of the new scents and it smells so good for spring and summer. So those are the only milk cups I picked up. Everything else is candles. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the outlet candles. So these outlet candles were only an extra 30% off. They were not part of the 5 for 40. So the first one I picked up, which I am really happy to try because I really like the packaging of these. This is the new Elevation Collection. This one is in sheer linen. I just love the packaging on these. I like the square look. I like the lid. And I believe that this is a three wick. This is the medium size Elevation. They only had a few scents. They had sheer linen. They had passion fruit. And then they had one other. Sheer Linen is a very, very nice, clean scent. So that's the only candle I picked up from the Elevation line. I did pick up a medium-sized tumbler candle. And this one is in Sweet Fig and Pomegranate. This is usually a fragrance that comes out around the fall time, but honestly, I think this is a good all-year-round fragrance. And I definitely smell like the juicy pomegranate in this. I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to burn this. I actually had my husband smell this. I actually have a little video of us together because he likes to joke around and he says that we're going to end up on Dr. Phil one day. He jokes around and says, and when did you know she had a candle addiction? So I might insert that clip in the video or do a separate video for you guys to see my husband picking on me. Then I did pick up a large candle. This is one of the American Homes, so this was not part of the 5 for 40 because these are already relatively cheap. And then with the extra 30% off, I think it took it down to like $6 and some change. So this American Home large jar, this one is in Fragrant Spring Meadow. I cannot put my finger on what this smells like, but it smells so good. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not getting more. My husband gets off work early. I'm debating on if I should go to the outlet again. I don't think so because he already thinks I have a problem. I got two candles going today because he was insistent on lighting candles last night. He's like, burn them all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to burn them all. So we actually have a Better Homes and Gardens candle going. I have that going today as well as I had it going last night. That one is in Mango Berry Freeze. And then I have a old school three wick bath and body works in, I want to say it was Guava Colada. So I finished that bag. I'm going to go ahead and jump into some of these bags over here. I'm going to grab this one and move it forward, hopefully. And put that one back in the way. So I have five large jars in each of these bags. The first one I have here, and I like never was interested in this candle. I never picked it up to smell it. And then at the outlet, something made me pick this up. This is Yankee Candle Midnight Oasis. This is part of the fresh line, as you can tell. And when I smell this, I don't really think fresh, because when I think fresh, I think like seaside and cotton and that kind of stuff. This smells like hot, sexy man. This smells like a cologne. If they would broaden their horizons with their scent categories and like had a perfumey category, this would fit right into it. Because like I said, this smells like some hot, sexy man. This is a good all year round candle. Definitely smells on the cologne side. The next one I have here, I've never seen this one before, but apparently it is a returning favorite. I've seen that it is still on the Yankee Candle website in different packaging. This is 
Blueberry. So I believe this was like from the original Yankee Candle Core line, one of the scents that they first started out with when Yankee Candle was coming onto the market long, long, long time ago. I actually remember being a kid and my aunt purchasing Yankee Candle. So I definitely know Yankee Candle has been around for probably 25 or more years. So when I smell blueberry, this smells literally like a pint of blueberries. It doesn't smell like blueberry pie filling. You don't have that extra sugar in there. It smells like a natural blueberry. As if you went to the market and picked up a pint of blueberries. I think that this one's going to be on the strong side because it smells really, really strong. So I'm hoping it's on the strong side. Definitely look forward to that one. My husband enjoyed that one as well. The next one, my husband wasn't too crazy about this one, but once again, this one, I never expected to pick this one up and like it, but when I smelled it in store, it smelled so good. This is Tahitian Nights, and I believe that this is in the fresh category as well. So when I smell this, I definitely feel like it has a little bit of a baby powder undertone but not like a straightforward talc smell. I feel like there's some musk in there. I definitely feel like it's a little bit on the perfumey side. I like it. I definitely think that this would be, once again, another good all year round scent because it's a good fresh scent. Kind of smells a little soapy, like laundry detergent. So once again, a good all year round fragrance. Two more in this bag, then we'll be on our last bag, and then I will show you what I got from retail because retail had a sale, I think it was last week, where medium jars were buy one, get two free. And this one here that I picked up is a true tried and true fragrance, and this is Pink Sands. I was very happy to see this in the outlet because usually when this comes in the outlet, it sells out real quick because I think this is a favorite of a lot of people, especially this time of the year. Pink Sands is super sweet, but yet it's once again a fresh scent. This has the smooth wax, so I'm definitely curious to see how this is going to burn. But I love this candle. I feel like it's kind of lemony. It's kind of sweet. I feel like it has a little bit of strawberry in there. So I feel like it is a fresh fruity scent. Definitely hard to explain, but oh, I love the smell of Pink Sands. So next is a fragrance that I actually fell in love with last year. This one says that it's a returning favorite as well. I think it was pretty new last year or the year before. And this is Honey Blossom. Love that purple color. You guys know that I am crazy about purple. And for some reason, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a pine scent on this one. When I was smelling it in the store, it smelled like a blend of wildflowers with that little bit of touch of sweet honey to it. But yeah, it's coming off a little bit like vanilla mixed with like a spruce scent. So definitely looking to see if that changes when I burn it. Because like I said, when I was in store, I could definitely smell the flower. This one smells kind of off right now. But I think we'll have better luck once we burn it. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot the last bag over. And then like I said, I have some stuff from retail to show you guys. Let me put that bag out of the way. So the last five, then I got an outlet. This was the first candle that I picked up when I was at the outlet. This is the one that caught my attention when I started going by the shelves. I've never seen this one. This is peach and lavender. When I smelled this in store, it smelled purely of juicy peach. I didn't get much lavender note. When I got home, it did smell different, but I still like it. I definitely feel like you get a blend of very medicinal, fresh lavender with peach. I definitely think the peach is going to blend very well with the lavender, and I think that this is going to be a nice spring and summer scent. This will probably be the first candle that I burn from these. I have a few I want to finish up before I get into my Yankees. I still have the Aldi candles to work on. I used one of them and I have a review I need to post soon. This was the second candle that I picked up because when I seen this, I knew I loved this. This is one of the Yankee candles. I don't hear many people talking about it, but it's my favorite. It's super strong. I have this in the Melt Cups. 
I love this. When I say I love jasmine scents, I wish everything smelled like this. This is Mid Midnight Jasmine from Yankee Candle. And oh, I love this. This is a beautiful white floral scent. This is jasmine done right. I feel like there's like a fresh aquatic note in there with the white florals. I love that. Like if I had to only probably have one candle from Yankee Candle, it would probably be Midnight Jasmine. Uh, technically I take that back because I haven't seen it in a while and my favorite candle from Yankee Candle is Tutti Frutti. I have two of them on hand and I will not burn them because I'm so afraid that I will never get it again. I let my husband smell Tutti Frutti last night. He's like, burn that? I'm like, no! I'm like, what if I can never get it again? So I love Tutti Frutti. It smells like a kid obnoxiously spilled Hawaiian punch all over the house. Tutti Frutti is hands down. One of the best and one of the strongest Yankee Candle scents, and I really wish that they would bring it back. Here's another fragrance that I fell in love with um, last year. And this is Yankee Candle Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. I usually don't like rosy scents, but this is a rose definitely done right because it's blended with that apricot. You get a very citrusy top note with that very strong rose blended in with it. So the rose is toned down by the apricot. This smells like it's gonna be a super strong candle and I definitely look forward to burning this one as well. Two more to go from the Yankee Candle Employee Appreciation Sale. This was the last one I picked up. I'm not crazy about this scent. Everyone raves about it, everybody thinks it's strong. I went ahead and picked it up to see how it does in my house. This is one of the fruit scents, and this is Bahama Breeze. This comes out every single year around this time of year. Everybody loves it. To me, when I first smell it, it smells like body odor. It smells like BO. It smells like sweaty pits to me. And I think maybe it's because it kind of has that fizzy, effervescent smell to it. And I feel like I get some mango in there. It's definitely a fruity scent, but for some reason it resonates with me as a body odor smell. So we'll see how it burns and that kind of stuff. One more candle from the outlet and then I will show you guys what I got from retail. So the last candle, I picked this up because when I seen it, it made me think of my husband. My husband absolutely loves a good margarita. This one is called Margarita Time. And literally, it is strong on the line. It smells dead on for a classic margarita. When he smelled this, he really enjoyed that. He's like, yeah, but you won't even burn that in the house. I'm like, absolutely, I will burn that. It made me think of you. I want you to have something that you enjoy sometimes in the house, too. So I definitely look forward to burning margarita time. Like I said, it has that super fresh lime scent in there. It smells like it has a little lemon twist and you can even smell the saltiness of it. Dead ringer for a margarita. So that's everything that I got at the outlet for the employee appreciation sale. I'm going to hop into my box so I can show you guys what I got from retail. Like I said, retail was doing a sale that it was buy one medium jar and get two for free. So I picked up some new scents as well as a old one. This is one of the old scents. This is a tried and true for me. And this one is in Garden Sweet Pea. I absolutely love Garden Sweet Pea. If you loved the Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea scent, this is a dead ringer in candle form. So you can have the body care and you can have your house all smelling like Sweet Pea at once. So absolutely love some Garden Sweet Pea. The other two ones are new fragrances. This one is the White Strawberry Bellini. I believe that you've seen it in Home Fragrance here. So White Strawberry Bellini. I was happy to get this in candle. Like I said, buy one get two free so it ends up taking t uh, three candles down to 27 under $10 each. Not quite as great as the employee appreciation sale, but I didn't know that sale was coming up and I hit this one first. So all in all, a good value. I love the smell of white strawberry bellini. You definitely get that alcohol boozy cocktail note in white strawberry bellini. So 
so one more candle to show you guys and this one is in guess what you've seen a lot of it blush bouquet so yeah that is definitely one of my favorites this year that one is hitting home with crazy amounts of purchases from me so let me go ahead and move my camera out so you guys can see what all I got from the employee appreciation sale as well as the buy one get two free medium jars so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them below if you guys have access to an outlet i definitely highly suggest hitting it up seeing if an employee will share their sale code with you because the sale is still going on today the roof tomorrow and like i said the prices are just so amazing on this so once again don't forget to comment rate and subscribe Bye, everyone.